While the primary responsibility for protecting civilians lies with the government, UNMIS is doing all it can to deter violence, build trust and restore security. I work with energy because I want to save the life of my people in my own country. So we lost a lot of people during the war. We don't want to lose some people. More than 8.3 million people are estimated to need humanitarian assistance across South Sudan due to a variety of reasons, including the cumulative effects of years of conflict, displacement, flooding, and COVID-19. People's inability to reach healthcare and lack of access to schools have created urgent humanitarian needs and protection needs, especially for women and children. With every shock the people of South Sudan have faced during the first 10 years of independence, they have shown their resilience solidarity and their courage. Our long-term vision for South Sudan though is to try and ensure that we can move away from the need for humanitarian relief programs and build on the development action of this country to help communities really look after themselves and deal with the entrenched isolation and inequity that is the scourge of so many citizens in this great country. Uh, WHO we have been really leading the coordination of the COVID-19 response but also the reason we are providing technical assistance uh, in terms of uh, uh, rolling out the COVID-19 uh, vaccin vaccination uh, jointly with other partners uh, 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 in the ministry, led by the Minister of Health. As humanitarians, we are trying to respond to, to affected population by flood, uh, by providing uh, clean drinking water, health services and nutrition services. As you can see, we are using uh, our boat to assess the situation of people, whereby uh, the flood has uh, taken most of the shelters and people are really in, uh, in, in a need of humanitarian assistance. One key activity that UNHCR, in coordination with the government counterpart in South Sudan, the humanitarian agencies, is the continuation of the delivery of humanitarian and protection services to persons of concerns in the refugee camps and the host community. There has also been coordinated and strengthened access to basic services such as healthcare, safe water, sanitation and provision of food while adhering to the COVID-19 prevention measures.
for South Sudan, we still have about 6.5 million, which is about 54% of the population who are chronically hungry. It is very important that this number is moved to zero. So the Food and Agriculture Organization, the partners and the government are working hand in hand to ensure that in the agriculture sector, crops, food, livestock, we enhance this to exit this country from food aid. In South Sudan, UNOP enables its partners to make infrastructural improvements to support sustainable development and improve peace and security. We enhance vital connectivity via roads, bridges and rivers to facilitate both humanitarian access and economic development. I want to be a president of South Sudan because I want to help people from the fighting. I, I want to be a teacher, engineer, doctor. I want to be a pastor. 